Well, thank you to 94.9 The Bull for having me. Well, I got to tell you guys something. I totally stand up here, girl. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so I was in so frenzied earlier. I didn't mention this is your ACM new female artist of the year. Let's go. Do you have your trophy yet? Or are they mailing it to you? Mailing. Yeah, they're gonna. But they, we're gonna get our trophies in the mail. So here's what I'm thinking: Can you come back and we'll do our own little ceremony, little ceremony unboxing yeah, our trophies? I think. Yes. That <laughs> It'll be fun. All right. So we have some questions for you. Um, I did want to tell you I talked to Kenny the other day, Aww. and um, I asked him if he would wear a UGA jersey since you wore Tennessee orange, and he said no. That's really fair. But he, <laughs> he might, but I doubt it. My, um, one of my guitar players, so his name's Cold Brew. My other one's name is Protein. Um, not his government <laughs> name, but um, he's, he'll be the one with the muscles you'll see t tonight. That's why we call him Protein. But anyways, he's a f huge Tennessee fan, and um, contractually, I guess he has to wear a Georgia jersey, but he doesn't want to. Oh. Uh. But That'd be like somebody putting me in an <laughs> Alabama jersey. That's not happening. I'll I would never wear a Florida jersey. You couldn't pay me. I will no quit amount. my job. No amount. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we were just talking about, or you and I were a couple of weeks ago, about how you were here last time Kenny Chesney played Mercedes-Benz sitting in the 300 section. Yep. Drunk with your friends is what yes. you told me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was, it was 2018. Um, Old Dominion and Thomas Threat were opening for him, yeah. and I was the drunk girl up in the nosebleed. Awesome. And now here we are. So, so, so if I have you're to. You're going to be the drunk girl in the nosebleeds tonight. <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you're at a stadium as a spectator, I want to know Megan Maroney's go-to for beverage and snack. Okay, so. What do you have to um, I have? was 21 at the time, so I bet I got a, like a margarita, but I bet I got a double because, you know, when you're in a stadium, you don't have to keep getting up. Lines. So you get, yeah. you get a double. Yeah. Smart. And then food-wise, probably popcorn and a hot dog. Me too, girl. girl loves a hot yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm <laughs> telling you, that's great. And the hot dogs at Mercedes-Benz are awesome. All right. So um, I have a cheat sheet here. So let's say Megan Maroney is in a karaoke bar. Because I'm sure you may have done that I once. I do that too. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and you have to pick one Kenny Chesney song and one Zach Brown Band song to sing. What are your best go-tos? Okay. So Zach Brown Band, I think I would go emo cowgirl and sing Colder Weather. Really? Over Chicken Pride, yeah. Okay. I think I, think I would bring the vibes down. I'd be like, who's yeah. ready to get sad? <laughs> and everyone would be like, not me. We're trying to have fun. And I'd be like... I said, I want to see you again. <laughs> Nobody take Megan everyone to the bar, like, okay? <laughs> everyone leaves crying after that, yeah. Um, and then Kenny Chesney's song, I would probably pick All the Pretty Girls. Oh, see, I think you should do Big Star. Big Star? And just point oh, yeah. to yourself the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure everyone in the karaoke Anna. bar would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, all right. So you mentioned this earlier, there, you know, not to give up on your dreams, but there are a lot of young ladies who are big fans. How old are you? 11. Did you just turn 11? Yeah. It's important. It's hard to remember our ages, right? I don't know how old I am. Yeah, me neither. I'm not going to tell you even if I remember. Um, I'm stuck in my COVID <laughs> age whenever that happens. Ooh, I like that. I'm stealing that. I'm stealing that. What's your name? Bailey. Bailey. All right. So for the Baileys out there, what's your advice for a young girl who might want to be a Megan Maroney on a stage later on? Um, well, I would... Because I would tell little me to dream bigger. Because like I said, I thought I was going to be an accountant because that's what my mom did. And I was doing well on the accounting tests I was taking in college. So I was like, I guess I'll just do this. Um, but I definitely wasn't passionate about taxes. <laughs> and um, and I, I knew that like I wasn't going to get too much fulfillment out of that just because my I feel like I'm really a creative person. Um, but I would just say like, Anything, if you think, oh, that's totally impossible, there's no way I can do that, look in the mirror and be like, yes, I definitely can. You just have to put your mind to it and work really hard um, and don't take no for an answer. I, there, I wrote so many bad songs before I started writing songs that I was proud of and you just have to keep, keep trying and um, if you do practice and put in the work, you will get better and yeah. Yeah, dream big. Yes. Always. 
yeah and I feel like my songs too um I want the little ones to know that you can you can be tough and you can be strong but it's also okay to be vulnerable and then if you're feeling just sad then you just wake up the next day and you're like nope we're snapping out of it <laughs> because we are that girl i love okay. that advice that's awesome <laughs> There's a lot of women out here i think we can as as adults can go with that thank yeah. you all right so my uga girl last time you were in town we were at the bucket theater you called the dogs and thought you were going to bring the roof down <laughs> oh, yeah. um so you probably don't get to go to a lot of games. I know you went to almost all the games before you became Megan Maroney the star. <laughs> what is the one UGA football matchup you wish you could always be at? What game? Georgia, Tennessee. Oh. <laughs> I've gone the last two years. Yeah? Yeah. Why that one? Um, Tennessee and, Orange. <laughs> well, I know that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, why not? Because uh, most... It's always, it's uh, like, I just love the thrill of not knowing what to wear. Because I'm like, okay. do I, like when it was at Georgia, um, I wore a Georgia jersey. Yeah. But when I was at Tennessee, I was, tr I was being nice to the... The My locals, friends, yeah, right, because they called me an honorary vol, which oh, I like, so I, I can't be like decked out in red. And so even if you hadn't sang that song, that would still be your go-to game, or would it be Florida? Because um, that's a party. Florida, yeah, I, I did do that one year. I did the whole frat beach yeah. thing that you do, where yeah. you get a milk jug and you go on the beach. And I don't know what costume. you're talking about. I have mm. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Deny, deny, Beach, deny, yeah. deny. I, I did that one year, and <laughs> one was enough. Um, I left my my dignity there. Uh, <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, so this, I'm I'm not wrong. This is your first major, major tour, right? Yes. Big tour. Yes. <sighs> All right, set the bar high. All right. Oh, no. So who's somebody else that you would like to tour with? That's something that I would have to think about. I, I honestly, being on the Kinney tour, this is weekend five, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how does it get better than this? Right. So I'm not sure. He honestly. may be spoiling you right I now. know. He, I am definitely <laughs> getting spoiled. Um, it's just been such a great time with, like on Thursdays, it's just me and Kinney. And then on Saturdays, we get to be in stadiums with Zach Brown and him. Oh. So I'm like, that's kind of like a bucket list tour that I'm on right now. I know. So. <laughs> I know that. For Kenny, it's really important. He he has made it his life's goal to help younger artists. So has he given you any advice out on the tour about like this is what's gonna happen? Hold on, it's gonna <laughs> get bumpy. Be prepared. Um, I think so far I've just watched his show in its entirety every single night, and I've learned a lot from that. Like when I'm watching him, I'm paying attention to like the different scene changes of the show and like when the lights black out what he's doing so just even being able to watch okay. him as a performer yeah and to know that like like we were in AT&T Stadium last weekend in Texas and he said this is our eighth time playing the stadium and I'm like I'm just want to know everything he's doing because I'm like clearly if you can sell out the same stadium eight times <laughs> I'm like there's something is working <laughs> very well he's he does <laughs> he's he remembers best. that yeah. stuff yeah. yeah I don't know if he's got I don't think he I mean he does have people, you know, publicists and stuff that help, but he just, he's very yeah. uh, cognizant of everything around him. He's very him. involved. Where did, where did Lunchy go? Uh, yeah, come on up, Lunchy. What do you want to know? <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> I want you to ask Megan some oh, questions. Okay, well, you said from that song. From a guy perspective. Yeah, yeah, from a guy's perspective. So you said that song changed your life, you know, and so I want to know, like, what does it feel like to be rich? <laughs> <laughs> um... When I find out, I'll let you know. <laughs> I mean, no, but, but, but like you say it changed your life, so it changed your it, life career-wise, but also... More expenses now. <laughs> okay. The bus is expensive. We're, I love the bus, so thankful for the bus. I couldn't afford the bus before, and now I can afford the bus, or I can pay for it, but it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So, Fair. And ain't then, rolling in dough yet, but when I am, I'm going to walk in here, I'll drift out maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and then but another, it, it hasn't happened yet. So. Do you guys believe her? No. I think, okay. I think kind of sort of number ones. Yeah. And then, and then I got <laughs> my, my other question is when you do things like this, like these little intimate, you know, lounges, the Duncan Lounge. What do you do the rest of the day? Because you have to be exhausted. Do you nap? Because I'm a napper. I have three kids. I nap every day. And so, like, what do you do? Do you go explore the city, or is it like, oh man, I'm so tired. I don't have time to go look around Atlanta. Um. Well, the today is Saturday. Yes. 
Yes. Saturday. See, that's what I'm today saying. Is, you lose track of days, yeah. too. Today is Saturday. So on Saturdays, they're insane because they're the stadium shows, and I don't have time to do much of anything. So I definitely don't nap today. Um, I'll go to sleep maybe at, like, 1 a.m. Um, but my whole family's in town. So today I will be... It's like my whole, like we weren't even all together for Christmas because not we couldn't all come home at the same time, Aww. but we are all together Aww. today. So it's like That's Christmas. Awesome. I got my family a cake, a big cake that my dad's retiring soon. Um, my brother just got a promotion. My other brother got like an, an interview at a nursing school and then it was Mother's Day. So I got a cake that says all of that. <laughs> I got it's one big cake. cake that's like a huge <laughs> one that says happy retirement and happy Mother's Day and congrats on your promotion. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> fantastic well I gotta tell you the first time I met Megan we were in Nashville you had sang on stage at this bar I don't even think your song I mean Tennessee Orange was out but it wasn't on the radio yet and <laughs> when we when they introduced me you said horns up Atlanta yeah. <laughs> was, I was like oh wow she, she knew knows. it she knows <laughs> I grew up listening to the station so it's crazy to I have to read those liners that say like horns up Georgia now uh -huh. um and it was <laughs> when you when I signed my record deal you get a list of all the stations in the whole country so there's like a lot but when I got to the Atlanta ones I was like I know this one horns <laughs> up Atlanta <laughs> We love you for that. Don't <laughs> steal my job. Okay. All right. You guys, do you have any questions real quick? She's got to get back for her sound check. Oh, I knew amazing. he had a question. He, he, he sang every word to every song. I, I mean, love your shirt. <laughs> go out there and get that guy's question. Come here. Yep. All right. Okay, I feel I like we're on a talk show right now. I don't have a question. Yeah, we're on Jenny something. Jones or Ricky Lake or whatever. <laughs> Those are old. I'm old. You so, guys don't know what that is. Um, I don't have a question, but like your your look for the uh, C Country Music Awards with the white dress when you spent o with Old Dominion that like you look really nice. Thank Aww. you. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like Did a cupcake a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was also, that was the most nervous I've ever been for a performance ever, so that was Aww. terrifying. But first one down, we got it over with. So. Well, she's got to run. But guys, Megan, we love you. We're so proud of you. Congratulations on your Thank ACM you. award. Thank so you. we need a sign. We need like a high sign. When you see one of us out there today, you'll just be like. Maybe I'll just, yeah. Or something. Just <laughs> yes. like this, you know. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys give it up for Megan Maroney. What